Archbishop Bayevich identified the need for a workforce of care professionals in South Australia during the Second World War in 1940. Orphanages and social services overflowed with lone children and displaced families who were among the large evacuation from Northern Australia. Archbishop Bayevich set up the Catholic Social Services Bureau to act as a coordinating centre and chose a unique young woman to head it up, Hannah Buckley. Your Grace, I hope you will pardon me for taking the liberty of writing this letter to you. For some time now, I've been anxious to continue my studies for an almoner course. Hannah was a foundation student of the South Australian Board of Social Studies and the first trained Catholic social worker. Since arriving here and discussing my plans with the lecturer in charge of the Board of Social Studies, I find that in order to complete the required amount of practical work, it will be necessary for me to remain interstate. Bayevich entrusted Hannah at 21 as head of the Catholic Social Services Bureau with the responsibility of coordinating all the church's institutions. This was a huge task for the young woman, who herself was also an orphan. To support the war effort, most women entered factories, but Hannah sought to develop the fledgling profession of social work. I am therefore requesting your grace to accept my resignation as social worker to the Catholic Social Service Bureau in Adelaide. In making this request, I hope that I'm not going to cause your grace too much trouble in obtaining the services of another social worker. In her six-year tenure, Hannah's emphasis for a professional service to meet the need of the individual paved the way for the Catholic Social Services Bureau, known today as Centre Care. I have been conscious of my inadequacy for the position and my limitations as regards to experience and organising ability. Hannah's very important to us. She was a person that was flexible and adaptable when the mission she was originally given didn't work. She then looked at the needs around her and uh, strived to meet those needs. So she was a woman that didn't shy away from authority just because it was authority. She saw a need and she went in there and she tried her hardest to meet her and bring people along with her. There's no doubt that Hannah Buckley's legacy for Santa Care is an important one. It's one where Hannah was always in the moment with her client and I think in Santa Care if we can embrace that approach where we as staff members in supporting those people can then benefit the wider community then I think that Hannah Buckley legacy will be respected.